Hi, Dave Cochran, REMAX Professional, St. John, New Brunswick, and on the web at DaveCochran.com. You know, I'm always talking about the best way to get a great buy and the best way to get the most money for your house and all those things that go. And it can be serious stuff. It can be pretty stressful for a lot of people, too, when it's all going on. So I thought today maybe we'd lighten things up a bit and tell you some of the stories that have happened to me in my real estate career you might get a kick out of. Uh, the first story is the... It, it results in the best line I've ever heard from a seller since I've been a realtor for 22 years. I was playing gentleman slow pitch and the game's over and I'm, I got mud and dirt and all over me and the phone rings and it turns out to be an agent with an offer for one of my listings. So the agent wasn't far away so I went and picked the offer up and then I called the seller and I said look I just got through a ball game I've got an offer for you I got mud all over me from head to foot here playing ball sliding in the dirt and if you'd like, I'll go home and change and I'll come over and, you know, after I change and we can go over the offer. And she said, Dave, I don't care if you're naked. If you've got an offer, come over right now. <laughs> anyway, we get the deal together. But that's probably the best line I've ever heard uh, in my real estate career. Another time I had showing a three family. And it was another agent's listing. So we were all set up to go and I'm with the buyer and we walk into one of the apartments and uh, we're looking around and we go in and we open the door to the bedroom and the gentleman and the lady are in a compromising position. Apparently nobody told them we were coming over. So that was a little shocking. But the best one was when I was doing an open house and uh, there's a cat scratching at the door during the open house. So I open the door, let the cat in, you know, it's a family cat. Go, goes right over to the water dish, starts drinking the water and eating the food because the house had a cat. So the open house is over and I go home and uh, like I always do, I call the seller back an hour or two later to give a feedback on the house. In the course of the conversation, she says, Dave, uh, by the way, who owns the cat on my bed in the master bedroom? <laughs> And it turns out this cat is a neighborhood cat and apparently does that all the time. The cat didn't even belong to this seller. Anyway, so she put the cat out and everything was fine. She had a great sense of humor about it. But I learned a valuable lesson. If there's animals in, don't let them out. And even more importantly, if there's animals out that look like they want to get in, don't let them in. If you have any questions about real estate or a really good story about real estate, you can get a hold of me anytime at homes at DaveCochran.com.